Dan Palenin in for Matt Scooby this weekend, 7.38 on your holiday Saturday. It's Saturday, yes it is, and welcome to it. Glad you can spend a few minutes with us. Glad you can spend some of the show with us. Over at Algonquin College, uh, the public relations students every year find a charity. In fact, they all get to pitch a charity, and then they decide on one. And then what the students do is they put together a plan to raise some money and also raise awareness of that particular charity. This year, the charity is Live, Work, Play, and there's a lot of exciting stuff that will be going on over the next month in order to support that campaign. Joining us now uh, from the public relations program at Algonquin College is Riley Evans. Good morning, Riley. How are you doing, sir? Good. Tell us a little bit about why the students picked Live, Work, Play. Well, Live, Work, Play is an incredible cause among a number of incredible causes that uh, were pitched during our pitch process. But I think what resonated most with us as a class was actually having the opportunity to hear from a Live, Work, Play member, um, the sister of our one of our campaign managers, Kate Valentine. Uh, her sister, Melanie, is a Live, Work, Play member. And just being able to hear her story in person and know the kind of impact that Live, Work, Play has had on the life of a person and sort of know the, the impact that it's had on a number of people's lives, really, I think, motivated the class to lean towards Live, Work, Play. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, in case you haven't heard about, uh, in case somebody hasn't heard about Live, Work, Play. Well, Live, Work, Play is an organization that focuses on uh, sort of trying to create an inclusive community for uh, people who live with intellectual disabilities. And they do that with uh, trying to allow them to sort of live independently and uh, sort of securing things like uh, independent housing, jobs where they'd be supported and be a part of their work community, as well as working with community employers and partners in terms of create, helping those organizations create inclusive environments themselves. Because it's oftentimes that those employers and those community organizations are actually more in need of help to create that inclusive environment than the members themselves are in terms of uh, living independently. Wow. So. Um... Obviously, uh, the folks at Live, Work, Play must be very excited that you have uh, selected them this year. Absolutely. They were thrilled. Uh, they were excited from the outset when uh, the pitch team contacted them and said that they were interested in pitching them for the project, and they were through the roof. They actually, they wrote a little article on their website the moment that they found out that uh, we decided to go with them. So uh, we're really excited to work with them, and they've been so excited to work with us. So, and this, this campaign is going to go on for about a month or so. Tell us a little bit. I mean, there are a number of events that are going on. Tell us about a couple of them. Absolutely. So the campaign is called Dreams Worth Living, and it's focusing on the idea that for all of us, students, live work, play members, and a number of other, you know, different types of people in the community, that independence really is a dream worth living. Um, it's got, we've got events. Uh, we've got 11 events over the course of uh, the next number of days, starting on May th uh, March 30th, rather, with uh, Let It Bree, which is a Beatles-themed wine and cheese night with a very punny title. And um, we really have events for, you know, every you know, variety of person, no matter what you're into. We have everything from a wine and cheese night to a gala dinner, a tea party, craft beer. And then on the other side, we have a glow-in-the-dark dodgeball tournament. We have a 90s dance night. We have a, a beer pong tournament. So really a variety of events for every single person. Uh, and there are, uh, as you said, there are so many of them. We're going to uh, post a link to the Dreams Worth Living website on our Facebook page so that folks can actually you know, check out all these different events. How, how do they connect with the charity itself? Like, Is there a connection between the 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 events and the charity well we're going to have an opportunity at a, a number of our events to have speakers from the charity just mm -hmm. come and tell everyone you know about the impact that the charity has been able to make in their lives and just uh let people know a little more about the incredible work that liver play is doing oh that sounds uh that sounds yeah. great so um Dreams Worth Living, the, the website, as I say, we'll post it on the Facebook uh, page. Is there, is there anything else that you want to add? 
uh, just that we're incredibly excited to be doing this campaign. And uh, it's dreamsworkliving.ca for anyone who uh, can't find it on the website. But other than that, we just uh, like to see everybody out to uh, as many events as possible. We're looking to raise around $25,000 for the charity, so we really wow. want to be able to make a huge impact. Wow. And, it, and it's and true. It, it's the sort of the raise. Obviously, you want to raise a lot of money, but it's also raising awareness for the charity, too, isn't it? You know, that might even be a, a bigger thing. They, we, uh, when we uh, had our launching press conference, which was on uh, March 23rd, uh, the, well, the co-founder, Keenan Weller, of the charity uh, attended and spoke. And he said they'd already heard from uh, new community partners, people who had never contacted them before, who had already uh, heard about the charity through the things we were doing. And we hadn't even started running events yet. So we're really excited to get started running events and continue to build that awareness. Because I think going forward and in the future, in terms of building the capacity of what we play to continue impacting even more people's lives, uh, building awareness about the community is as important, if not more important, than actually raising funds. Yeah, absolutely. All right, well, thanks a lot for joining us uh, this morning, Riley. Great to have you. No, I was happy to be here. Thanks for your time. All right, best of luck. All right, take care. Riley Evans is the media coordinator for the Dreams Worth Living campaign, raising money and awareness for Live, Work, Play. It's going on for the next month, and Elias has posted a link to their website on our Facebook page.